Melbourne has just gone into a stage four lockdown under state of disaster powers that came into effect just this minute. Although the news didn't come as a shock, it still caused a last minute scramble. Guys, please maintain 1.5 metre at least. Panic buyers queued up with their trolleys in the winter sun as Australia's second largest city prepared to go into hibernation. Uh, I'm declaring a state of uh, disaster across Victoria. You will not be able to be at any point more than five kilometres away from your home for the purposes of shopping for what you need. Recreational activity is now no longer uh, allowed. Uh, you will be allowed to have one hour of exercise. Police have been given more powers to enforce the new rules, which also include a nighttime curfew. Ooh. Anna Albury has been left wondering what all this will mean for her family. They're in the middle of moving house to another state, with a teething 10-month-old in tow. It's been pretty, a pretty stressful time for us, um, very tiring. Obviously, things are a lot harder to do um, under lockdown. Um, and with Water rules, closures. Yeah, yeah. With, there are different rules all around the country, So, and, and those rules are changing, it seems, um, you know, every week. But in the past few days, Victoria has had a record number of new cases. There's also been a rise in the number of deaths, many of them connected to care homes in Melbourne. Like this one, Epping Gardens, where more than 80 residents and 35 staff have tested positive for COVID-19. This time, I think it's really quite scary. Stage four is probably just a necessity at this stage. We can't hide under a rock. Better to get through this as quickly as we can. But the decision to put Melbourne back into lockdown will be seen as a major setback for a country that initially showed all the signs of having this virus under control. Chloe Keedy, ITV News.